fire, fire, fire. Holster. Get it, let's play. Okay guys, welcome to Vigil Spec Project. Today we are going to practice and become proficient with our secondary presentation. There may not be a situation where you always have your primary weapon on you and you may only have the ability to present your secondary weapon in a lethal situation. Okay, so to demonstrate this, first we're going to see where we have to, what we have to start with and where we are going to go. So, first off, We'll have uh, Citizen Sniper go first. Back off just a, sh a shade. I want you to draw your weapon right and shoot that target. Go up to the 10 yard mark. 10 yard mark. I want you to draw your weapon and dispatch that target. Nope. Put it back and do it as fast as you can. Okay, stop. Save your weapon. Thumb that wombat. You're up next. Put it back. <laughs> Alright. Go. Okay. That was better than Citizen Sniper, but still not perfect. Okay. So, I would like to demonstrate with a really proficient handgun shooter. Who's really proficient? You? I suppose. Uh, no, you're really Who's not. I'm the handgun extraction girl. Okay. So, I will demonstrate <coughs> the proper way present your secondary weapon what you guys are doing is you're pulling out of your holster and you're swinging your gun up this is not what you want to do you want to extract your handgun from its holster bring it to the center line of your person okay this serves two functions one it squares your weapon up with your target and two it prevents someone from taking it away from you okay so if you're in a tight situation, coming around a corner or something, nobody can take your weapon from you unless they get real and tight to you. From this position, then we want to push out to our target, slightly canting our weapon. And the reason we slightly cant our weapon is because when you point with your finger, you don't point like this, which is how you would hold your handgun. When you point, you point this way. So you want to be as natural as you can with your hand grip so that your muscles are completely relaxed in your arm. So, high speed, when you come out, it should go like this. And then one more time. The idea being that when you draw your weapon, you're pushing it towards your target. There's no vertical movement of the weapon, it's straight out and you can begin sighting the weapon once it gets to here. Likewise, if there is someone in close proximity to you and you don't have the option to extend, you can always bring the weapon in and shoot. So instead of extending, you just roll it over and shoot. So, let's give it another try. First we'll go with Citizen Sniper. So first, bring it, bring it to high rest. Okay, you have good, you have good grip. Now, bring it up quickly. No, from your holster. Okay. Go ahead and commence firing. Okay, stop. You still did swing. You went, you did it right when you began, but then when you went back up to, to shoot, you you did it right from here and then to here, but then when I said, okay, go ahead and shoot something, you went, instead of up and out, you went, 
like this. You're still swinging the weapon. You want to prevent swing and you're just bringing it in into your center line and pushing out. It's almost a rotation of your of both arms. Combat Wombat, you're up. <coughs> okay, one more time without firing. Good, that was excellent. Now let's see you live fire. Okay. Again, live fire. Sounds good. Okay, cool. Another, okay. Now we've demonstrated. Go ahead. is kind of stopping at the at that midsection. Wait, wait. I'm trying a different technique is what I'm doing. Okay. So now we're gonna string it all together rather than coming up in and then pushing out, we're just going to do it. See that? There's no stop in the center there. It's one fluid motion. I missed. <laughs> Safety on the Beretta makes that a little tough because I brought it up and I stopped to make sure I got the safety before I pushed out. So well, I can probably catch the safety, have the safety as I safety go on out. Ever. Yeah, safety should now be well, off. So I, well, I, I practice with the safety on. All right, get up there. Any All right, who's up next? Do it again. Yep. Sure. <laughs> That's a lot of time. El Chapo! Safety as what do we Chopo got here? We have a safe turn. P220, right? Yes, we do, and 45 ACP. 45 ACP? All right. You want to break big it down? Big caliber for a big boy. Let's break it down real quick and go through the the uh, the uh, soft skills without any live fire and see, oh. and then we'll transition to live fire. Okay. Say what? Go ahead. So, the weapon, you brought it up, and you had it pointed already. So, bring it up and lay it. Okay. There it is. So, go ahead and do it one more time. So, if you, if you, so if I'm coming at you, you've got it in your line, and you've got it out, go ahead and put it out. So, if I go for your gun, all you do is extract it, right? All it does is come back, and then you just can't a little bit and shoot me in the face. Right. Okay. Try it one more time. There's a little bit of swing on that one. A lot of swing on that one. That was good. Okay. I'll be here all week. <laughs> okay, uh, Private Donut. Shooting 22, right? Yes. All right. I expect this to be good then. Safety. Now in the safety zone. Captain. Did we just say something about safeties? Flip it off. I do. Every time I go back in here, it's like I just know my safety is always on. I always practice with it that way anyway. Come on, three for three. <laughs> well, it is off, right? Can we verify it's off? <laughs> it's right? off. Okay. Right, don't touch it. He's hidden the ambidextrous when he pulls it out. Yeah. Gently. This is a new weapon for me. Be careful with all that ammo. You might spend too much. Be sure not to you know, like damage that plate either.
It said ambidextrous is flipping up when you pull it out. There's one, all right. Yeah. Still no tings. <laughs> Good thing we're just shooting 22s. Probably, be probably be accurate. Because on the man size target, those all kill them. Right, but why not just uh, do it? Okay. You want to go into five yards or less? Right. Okay, so before we. Whenever. I mean, I just gotta get into the habit of riding my thumb down that safety every time I present. Today, Les is running Springfield XD. Okay, good soft skills. skills. Now let's go ahead and uh, speed it up we before we go to live fire. Come out. Yeah. Yeah. Speed it up. And that's what makes 1911 shooters. One stop. <laughs> now speed it up. Yeah, that's nice. Excellent. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, I would like to move on to a, to uh, taking this skill and moving to moving to another dimension with it. So, if you walk into a room and there is a bad guy in there and he's got a weapon drawn on you already, you're not going to stand there with your feet planted in the ground, draw the weapon and shoot it. Okay, you're just not going to do that. He's going to shoot your ass, right? So. To avoid yourself getting shot, preferable, which is preferable, what we want to do is as we draw our handgun, we want to move out of the center of fire. All right. Now what that does is if I'm tracking a target that is moving and I've fixated on it and I am untrained, that target moves, I'm going to swing my shoulders. By swinging my shoulders, I put myself out of center line. I immediately make myself more more. You expose inactive. your vital areas. Huh? You expose all your vital areas. And I've also made my ability to hit the target. Uh, I've significantly reduced the ability of me, of my ability to hit the target by swinging out of my center line. Okay, I've shifted my weight to this leg. It's no longer evenly distributed. My arms are not in line with my shoulders anymore. And my target is now moving. So by doing, by doing this simple thing, which is draw, step, or draw, step, I've made this person who is shooting at me more uncomfortable. So, one more time. Draw, step, or draw, step. I've now made that person uncomfortable and I have a much greater chance of survival in this instance. So we're gonna go ahead and practice that. I only have three in it. Side step left. Ready, fire. Side step right. Ready, fire. Side step left. Mag change. Side step left, ready, go. Okay. All right. Side step left, fire. Side step right. Side step right. Fire. Good.